here's what happens. EMX Open race one here, the round of Riga. Kim Savasti almost took the front going through the first turn, but he managed to hold on long enough to pull the whole shot. Cornelius Tundell went around the outside of everybody here, 3.02, and was quickly into third, and it wasn't long before he was into second and challenging Sebasti for the lead. But he was riding on borrowed time for a little bit as Sievenham was in there in third. Watch this lunge here, had to pull out, but was just being a little bit too aggressive on Sebasti. And then eventually his luck ran out after one or two warning signs. The back went one way or the other, and he just caught the edge of the bank and fell from second. He was down at about six at that point. But then he rammed his way down the inside of Nathan Dixon. Fell, and then I think he fell again later on in the race. The challenge then came from Carol Kutzar and Tom Makux. But then Makux got to the inside of Kutzar. Couldn't quite execute the pass there, but by the time they got to the end of the lap, the Latvian, the championship leader, was down the inside. And that was second position for the number 92. Stefan Eckerol eventually found his way past the 5'11 of Carlos Calais as he moved to an eventual fifth place. Mira Sievenen was ahead of him, but in the end, the German not able to close in on the fin. And it was Sievenen who picked up 18 points for fourth place. Final lap, though, Kim Sebasti, or just before the final lap, Kim Sebasti put himself under pressure with that mistake. And then there was another mistake here on the next jump. Almost got out of shape, but was able to keep a, a cool head. Makuk's closed in, but wasn't able to capitalise. In the end, the flag did fall for Kim Sevasti, the 137 KTM Motorsport Machine.